So if you are a regular viewer of this channel, you'll see that I played in a Pro-Am event just a couple of days ago. I played quite well and some lots of comments about what I had in the bag. Well, there's a strange story that I need to tell you about exactly what happened on that day and why it led to a strange situation. I ended up with golf clubs, I, uh, well, it wasn't planned. Now many of you commented on that video asking what exactly was in my bag during that day. I think you were surprised as how well I played, as I was to be quite honest with you. I could go in. Oh, it was close. And whilst there were just maybe a couple of major changes that happened by accident, there was one standout product, but I'm going to talk you through briefly what I had in the bag. But one of those clubs, well, to be quite honest with you, it was ridiculously good. But before I tell you about what those clubs are, I need to explain about the absolutely ridiculous situation I put myself in by making, well, a stupid mistake. Now, one of the biggest problems I have when reviewing golf clubs is the fact that I never have the same bag put together for playing my own regular rounds of golf. So what happened the other day was I packed a golf bag that I thought was my set of clubs, my gamers, if you like. And when I arrived in the car park at Formby, I found I had a couple of surprises in there that shouldn't have been there. I ended up with a different set of irons that I'd only ever used once before in a review and a putter that I'd only ever used 24 hours previously. So it wasn't the best start to the day and I wasn't best pleased, but this is how it all panned out. The one thing I can confirm is that the Stealth made the lineup, thank God, and it did an absolutely superb job. This club is ridiculous also, but not the one I really want to talk to you about today. So the first surprise was I didn't have my regular irons in a bag and that I ended up with the Tacoma 201s, which if you watch the videos, then you'll know I was a massive fan. But like I said, I played 18 holes with these to form an opinion. Majorly impressed, feel, sound superb, but then standing in a serious competition with a set of irons you're not familiar with. Like I said, I was a little bit concerned, but what I can say, and you can see from a number of shots that I'm playing right now, things went really well. And uh, I played the first one out of the rough, which was uh, my tee shot a little bit errant, nice wedge into the green. And like I said, from then on in, I was away and it re worked really well. So yeah, irons, I got away with things, let's say. There was another club in the bag that, like I said, which was a serious error that I made and uh, maybe a little bit more concerning. Now, what I can tell you is there was some good news because the pink chipper was actually in that bag that I had with me. And I've got to say, um, I did play this club two or three times, even though John Tinkler commented in that previous video that he didn't think I would have the audacity to get this thing out in front of such illustrious company. Well, I did, John, and uh, I can tell you, it performed as consistently as it's done in most of the reviews that we've put together so far. How's that one going to do? Slow down a little bit. Oh, we've got a chance. Now, the other good news I can report is also the tailor-made Stealth 5 wood was in the bag and that got played on a number of occasions. So I'm all right so far. The driver I like, I've got the fairway wood I like. And the irons, well, I was happy with them. And that's a five wood. Wow, a wallop there. I even had the trusty launcher halo high wood in the bag. What could go wrong? I've almost got my set of clubs barring the irons and one other. If you can name me an easier launching fairway wood, then please let me know. But I mentioned earlier about being a channel regular and what you've seen in terms of the content I've put out in the last few days. And yes, I played at Formby. And hopefully if you did watch that, you'll see that I hold a number of putts. I also did a review 24 hours later of a putter, which is from Lab Golf. It is the Mez One. And during the end of that review, I said this, but the question I'm asking myself is have I made a wise investment? And are the things or the positives that I found gonna make me hold more puts in the long term than I think of where I am right now with the putter choices I have at hand? 
Go, 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 go. Right, so here we are just 24 hours later, one more round into the bag, and I've got a whole new opinion of this putter from Lab Golf, and it's one that I really feel I need to share with you. Right, so I'm not going to go into great detail about what the Mez 1 and the Lab Golf theory is. You can watch the initial video if you don't mind to find out that, but trust me, it's really, really interesting. It's a different concept than any other putters in the way that the face is balanced. Let me just say that. And I bought into that theory and I bought the putter. As I said, I used it for one round. I was super impressed. And as you heard me say, I need a bit of time to work out whether or not just to how good it possibly was. Now, the other thing I want to mention is that uh, there was one other inclusion in my bag, which I don't normally play with. And that was a Chrome Soft triple track. So I did use this as an alignment aid. And what I simply did was then use this simple alignment aid that's on the lab putter. And that was my putting theory. The rest, I let the putter head do the work. And I'll explain how that theory in my head worked out extremely well for me. Oh, and still is doing. Now the title of this video is This Club is Ridiculous. And it is ridiculous in my opinion, at least because I bought into that theory, like I said. I then went out and used the putter and I could see that it was, uh, it was different than other putters, but it still needed a little bit of understanding as to how to make that putter head work for you. And quite simply, what I found is that you've just got to let the putter head do its own thing. So the whole theory is about it sort of stays square by itself. But then what you've got to make sure is that you allow it to stay square and you don't start trying to manipulate it as you perhaps would with ordinary putters. And that's what I started to do at the end of my round at North of Golf Club. And then I continue to do at Formby. So whenever I had a putt, I stood over it and I concentrated on one thing. We've got that forward press position again, which you'll have learned from that uh, full video on the Mez. I got that simple alignment set up. Once I was happy with that, I just let the putter head almost swing with its own tempo, almost like a sort of pendulum motion. So I tried to really take all the pressure off the putting grip as, as least as I possibly could and just let the putter head swing. And seriously, I have never held so many putts in one round of golf. I can honestly say that. Now we could attribute that to a couple of things. I had a really good day. The greens at Formby were absolutely fantastic. Could be down to the ball, it's alignment aid. But I've got a funny feeling that this putter could be in the bag for a long, long time. And the other thing I will add is ask one simple question continuously throughout the day. And that question was, what is that putter you've got in your hands? And because seriously, I think people thought I had a little bit of a, uh, a cheat stick going on. Anyway, if we can hold this one, I think you'll think I'm cheating. We better miss. <laughs> that's, that's ridiculous. Even hands laughing behind the camera. Right, we're going to call it quits there. It was a real strange day. It was an additional video that I didn't expect to make because like I said, the bag came into my mitts almost by fluke. It was a major error on my part in being underprepared. And somehow I got a set of clubs that really worked for me. And I really love my bag setup right now. And the irons, either way, the 201s performed incredibly well. But I'm sure my existing irons would have done the same. But the real shock and the real surprise is this lab golf putter it is as i said ridiculous right let me know what you thought of today's video in the comment section below hit that like button um, subscribe if you don't already all those kind of things interesting stat for you 44 percent of you are not subscribed to the channel who watch on a regular basis so i'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe because it just does help us massively in terms of the youtube algorithm right that's my plea for this video done thanks for watching and i'll see you all soon and who thinks that that was set up, huh? Lots, I would imagine. <laughs>